Well, this is not easy for me to do, folks, but I'm going to praise Ned Yost anyway. He should be commended now for putting the Royals in position to have a legitimate shot at making the playoffs. Ned has stayed the course with a team that has encountered some wild swings during the season, a team that couldn't hit, a team that couldn't score, and yet a team that has discovered a way of winning games in bunches. And to be honest, I've always found it very difficult to be drawn to Yost for his managerial skills. He comes across in a surly way, eh, kind of like a manager who gives the impression of having all the answers. Bottom line here, doesn't matter what I think of Ned Yost, his job is to win baseball games. He's doing a pretty darn good job of doing that right now. This is a remarkable run we're watching, folks. The Royals lost their best hitter in Eric Hosmer. Billy Butler, the player no other team wanted at the trade deadline, has carried the Royals for the last three weeks. Now, you can talk about pitching and defense and all that stuff, and it, sure, it's important, but give me the man with the big bat. There is no reason the Royals cannot win this division. They're carrying the heaviest payroll in club history. They've got the best bullpen in the league. There's no more room for excuses. No other professional sport has tormented its fans the way the Royals have tormented us. Just being in a pennant race, I tell you what, it is a whole lot of fun. But it's not good enough anymore, folks. It's time to win something that really matters. It's right there for the taking. Can the Royals pull it off? Absolutely. And you know what? You can go ahead and call me a homer if you want. But the longest playoff drought in North American professional sports is about to end. And I say, hallelujah. That's Jack Smack.